Where do I go, though? <laughs> Where do I go, though? That's a better question. Can, can I get a map? Oh, wait. Maybe I can do this. Hold on. Hey, pool has something? Let's see. Ah! Luca tied a small magnet to the line, fishing with the law of attraction. A key? What do, you think the, what do you think the lock is for this key, Dad? No, why would we want to find that? Because then we would know the secret. Gosh, so fun. Check we know what it unlocks. Just becomes an old boy key. But now this key could unlock anything. Cool. See you later, Granddad. Or oh, Daddy. So I want to see like, everything I can do because maybe it would involve me getting a charm. Come on, do it! <laughs> I'm just catching my breath out of me! Go on, I got you! Oh, okay. You good man? <laughs> Fucking man, is that? Holy shit. Well, there is a lot of people here. Check them out. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Okay. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. The two wandered down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh! Oh, this is getting good. Hey, Miss Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Huh, not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You'll be safe now. Alright. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. Cool. The Beacon Beacon. The Beacon. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's the name you went with? Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... News! The Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope! <laughs> Rodo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm. Rodo ought to be careful poking around the town of town. You mean the part of town? The part of town! The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. Change. Very interesting. Take it, take it, take it. Can I go in this place? No, I can't. Okay, can I go in the coffee place? Luca could see the morning regulars nestled in their booths at the early bean. Nice. Can I go inside the newspaper place? Let me in! I'll tell them the truth. Luca's just the fella I was looking for. Oh, hey, Roxy, what's up? Right. Rendezvous with Roxy. Rendezvous, what? This is an important turning point. Fuck! The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. Uh, what? Wait, what? Currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. But okay. Now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well... Not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. <laughs> Roxy, why would I lie to you? <laughs> Luca, wait up! I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be looking around here. Hey, heads up, no, no. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. <laughs> Alright, that's great. I love that. No, no. 
So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Nala! Why are you doing that? Turning thing with your body. What? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. <laughs> and she's right around that corner, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me just over here looking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. <laughs> Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left uncharred. Roxy, I'm going to level with you. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all got to pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dug up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic Shrink Ray. All the more reason to keep on digging. There's gotta be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luke and I have places to be, so if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, I do mind, and I'm not gonna catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Fa 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 fuck. Nola froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save from <laughs> being dragged home. Oh, I don't think I do. In the past, he found the best way to deal with enraged Roxy was to be a little. This is the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we only have one too. This sucks. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. No, no, it was no, it was not. No, it is not. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining, and we just want to take it easy. Let's see tomorrow's problem for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa already says tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March your big oaf. Oh rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! New son of a bitch. E. So, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, 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 cool. Well, that sort of blew for him. <laughs> could I have gone down here? Oh, shit, I could... Oh, fucking hell. Okay, well, I probably have to do that in a sec. Let's see. Can I check stuff here? Can I do stuff? No touching. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I fucking love that. Hey, Griffin. How's the ice cream going? Uh, get going. Uh, not great. Still pretty cool, though. And I'm in the business of selling cold. Uh, I'm sure things will warm up soon. My truck. Oh, uh, Mr. Trout is not at his grocery stand. He was prepping for the festival, I guess. Gotcha. Hey, Bert. Hi, Luca. I'm doing some fact checking for the Town History exhibit. Ah, uh, look, kids. I'm just here to put up these lights. <laughs> well, did you know when the town was founded, there we were only seven citizens, and they all worked for a mining company, and there were only one dirt road leading to town, and there still is only one road leading to town. Oh, right. All right, that's cool. So he's like the historian of the place. Okay, gotcha. Hey, Don. Sorry to wake you. <laughs> no problem. It comes with the job. Don had dreams of becoming a big-time reporter. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By okay. day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. 
Shut up! Huh? Rose said he saw something strange going on at the warehouse. You know anything about that? Hmm, we might have heard something. I'm working on a story about it right now. So what's going on? Can't quite say. I still need to follow up on a few leads. Uh, keep me in the loop, okay? Good thing. Things seem to be quiet in the quiet in town today. Yeah, but everyone is preparing for the festival. Should be back to normal tomorrow. Catch you then. Catch you then. Oh, Luca. I'm really sure I haven't been able to find out anything about your mom yet. Uh, I'm just grateful that you tried. I'll still keep bringing my ears up. That's cool. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can do anything here. But at least I know where the whole, like, town is now. Gonna go up here? Oh, I can! Nice! Alright, what's up? Um, Piper? Oh, hey, Luca, what's up? You know it's summer break, right? Of course! And it's, like, the morning? Correct! And you're studying? Like they say, the early bird... Gets the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Thank you. <laughs> Picasso. Hey, Zarelli. Hey, Zarel. Hi, Luca. Would you please tell this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? Um. Lumi, Zarel would like you. Luca, let me give you a little jam of advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Wow. You're really setting the kid up for success! Okay, well, no charms here. Can I go inside the place? No, it doesn't look... Okay, well, that was a waste. Alright, well, I guess we're just heading straight to the thing, then. Um, let me interact with the sign, maybe? Because that... Not the sign, the statue. Uh, I'm assuming this. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Uh, never underestimated what a great man can do, given time. Sharper Valentine. Oh, did much, if you ask me. Yeah, pretty much. Bulgin? I wonder. Damn it. Do wish there was a skip button, not gonna lie to you. Do I have to go talk to everybody again? I'll make sure. Okay, so do I still have indulge in all those? Yes, I do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So then I don't really need to go back one more. Hmm? Hey, Solomon. Apologies, not no time for chit chat. Uh, Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. Damn, has it? Uh, is it this bad? When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. <sighs> Shit. Yes. Damn, that's terrible. It looks like the library hasn't opened yet. I'll check back later. Okay. Back store. Hey, sir. Look at my boy. Hold up a tick. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Nuncred. I was just on my way to. I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shells fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Are you trying to fuck my grandma? Uh, huh? Well, don't let this old man slow you down. Just remind her that she still owes me that dance. God, you tried to fuck my grandma. The awesome, nice. Ran regretted the second <clears throat> it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Wanna pull that hair? Okay, okay, well, okay, no, 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 yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess, yeah. Pull it hard, smack that, okay, yeah, no, 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 nope, 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 gotta go, gotta go, yep, 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 yep. Smack the ass, show goddamn hard, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's moving forward, Move, moving, moving fucking forward. The phone booth was brand new, part of was it? Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Understandable. Oh, hey, how are you? Well, hey, Luca! Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? 
Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different for people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're, if you're going into the weep wood, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching got it. <clears throat> the path led into a small hollow at the edge of weep wood. Oh. Okay, no turning back now. Caution, electrified fence. Oh, great. That sign new. The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rollo do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rollo would do, so that he could rule out that option. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not touching that thing. Oh, here, let me Luca head back real quick. that if he gave up now, he'd never hear the end of it from Rollo. Oh, but I was gonna... Oh, damn it. Hmm. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. That's One two. Go. I did not expect that. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Go in, bitches! Every kid Whoa. in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Okay. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Okay. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rollo wasn't exaggerating for once. Exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There's only one way to find out. Oh, it smells awful. Okay, too bad Rollo's not here. You have no problem poking around in the air. Hmm. Okay. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hello? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's a charm. The steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, oh, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca oh, watched shit. his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is a story. Is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for uh. himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. True. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Oh. Now, let's try something different. Shit. <laughs> In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Rocky was to be a little shit. <laughs> In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. Fuck you. Make a break for it. What the what are we done? <laughs> Did that little shit just kick me? What are you want, little trips? You gotta come home eventually. Sorry! That's a gay Valentine warehouse in Rolo. Okay. Sorry about that. Rolo can get overexcited sometimes.
You're a Valentine. Oh. Current ward of and future successor to the Valentine Fortune. Huffed as he brushed off his pants. A <laughs> town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. <clears throat> Either way, I I'm really sorry. No matter, how are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all. No. Hmm, that is truly a shame. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep her house. Yeah. And how is that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm-hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around. In lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say, it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Solomon? Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies. Apologies, Harris. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're a Valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. I, I tried making him like a snobby little shit, but honestly, he seems like a good kid. Look at my boy. Hold up. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Uh, boy's got too much of his father in him. Think. Fucking Lord. I win. There's no help. I am a champion. Mm -hmm. We were wait. We were racing. Does the road get longer? <laughs> like anything you ever changed around here? Turn longer. <laughs> You're just lightheaded from the run, man. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Oh, surely. Why would I take advice from a second place? Has the sign always been here there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we going to get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I got this. God, fuck. Why'd you do that? Paul always says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great, what now? Well, I did my bar established that touching the fetch is bad. Or you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. Okay, so I already know what to do, obviously. From a safe distance. Let's just go ahead and just do the thing. Oh, you're a genius. Yeah, I did it. Luca! You never fail to impress. <laughs> As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rollo began to bounce excitedly. <laughs> Check it out! 
Dang, Grodo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing, too, ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome! What is that? Rumble? Did you feel that? What's the excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Yeah. Check out this puddle! <laughs> That's not normal. And this hose! Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. No dice. It won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster's new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the her hazardous waste? Just help me get in. No, no. It'd be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, Lady Luck. So what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Well, a good itch of stagnant sludge. <laughs> Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the foe. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. <laughs> these actually work. Ground Commander Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic Ground Command. You're coming in five by five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Pink? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. <laughs> Help is on the way. What, what was that? So, something's coming. Give me your hand! I'll try. My hands are covered in squish. <laughs> Screw over. I'm coming again. Tell me you saw that. Dude. I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Hang on a The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. <sighs> oh god, tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separates run of the male detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? <laughs> when the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues! It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Dr. Prescott, Deep Engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just one name tag and a bag full of something else. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I, I, I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm not panicking! You're not panicking! Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude. I am not holding your hand. 
Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? Ah! I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run of poor lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? <laughs> Flavy chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to a hundred. If you hear me yell, run! If you don't hear me yell, run! Actually, either way, whole ass! <laughs> Rolo! Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start to our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing! Lucas sat in the dark, <laughs> tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as awesome. he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rolo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five? Thirty-six? Thirty-seven? The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rolo? No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 finding a friend. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Hey, that, that shit was intense, though. Not, not gonna lie, that shit was... <laughs> I don't know, like, they, they, he found a dead hand. He freaked out, threw it out of the fucking dumpster, and then, <laughs> and then he started discussing what the fuck to do to get the hell out of there. <laughs> fucking, fucking Lucas is like, man, gotta give you credit. You got good fucking plans. Let's get the fuck out! <laughs> so let's go ahead and continue. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Uh, I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh huh. So uh, well, I'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. Oh, what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, and nothing interesting. Hmm. Hello. Calm down. Oh, of course, it was the right thing to do. Start gathering, folks. I'll be right there. Hmm. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really, we just sort of ran around a bit. Gran's brow furrowed. Hmm. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet <sighs> and even. I have to go take care of something. You are to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstance are you to leave. What? If I am not back by dinner, there's stew in the icebox. But... But nothing. You are to stay here, understand? Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Oh, that was strange. You know what? She wants to be all weird and shit. I'll fuck up all your crap, Grandma. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, old bat. Honestly, what's cool too is that um, like the actual character's movements isn't. A faint electronic sound floated in the air. That coming from upstairs.
Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Lolo, is that you? Over? <laughs> Dude, this shit's getting good. I love this. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie-talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. Fuck me, somebody. This isn't good. Some, some. Stop knocking. Oh, hey, Roxy. Okay, look, this is about me, uh, you know, accidentally kicking you yesterday. <laughs> is Rono here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No. I, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo didn't come home last night. What? 